determine the resultant force and specify where it acts on the beam A. So we have a point load and a distribute load, which is a trapezoid in shape. The trapezoid will split into two parts. You could do a trapezoid, but I don't memorize those formulas. And so I do a triangle and a rectangle. Call that P1, P2. So P1 is equal to um, 6 times 150. So that's equal to 900 pounds. And P2 is equal to uh, 6, 1 half, 6 times 50. And that equals 150. And so the total force, if we sum the forces, is 500 plus 900 plus 150, which equals 1550 pounds. Now let's sum the moments. And we get 50 times 9, or 500 times 9. Now this one acts two-thirds away from there, so that is four feet, plus uh, 150 times four, plus 900 times three, because that's dead center. And the sum of the moments equal 7,800 pound feet moment equals force times distance to find the distance where the full force acts. The moment is 7800, the force is 1550 times x, so x equals 5.03 feet.